All right, let's talk about Brock Purdy, the 49ers. You know, we were all wondering kind of after that three-game losing streak, are they as good as we thought they were? Maybe they were overhyped a little bit. These past two weeks made uh, makes you feel like, no, if anything, uh, we probably overreacted to the losing streak, if anything, because uh, they have been amazing. Brock Purdy has been amazing. And let's talk about what he did so well and what this Niners offense did so well against Tampa Bay. Let's start off with this play. We saw a healthy dose of Christian McCaffrey early on in this one, uh, definitely using him. You know, on this drive, he was kind of the key guy. And so, you know, uh, got to give him credit, although, you know, Purdy deserves his credit as well. But on this play, really clever concept. The real guy I'm going to give credit to right away is Kyle Shanahan, who, you know, way this play is designed to work is you're actually going to have three receivers essentially just run setup routes here. Every eligible receiver who's lined up towards the offense is right, which again is three of them, are running routes really just to try and clear out space on the goal line as you then have McCaffrey who's going to run from the offense's left to the offense's right. Devin White is covering McCaffrey one-on-one, which say what you want about Devin White, definitely has a lot of speed. So you do have to, you know, be a little bit careful when running a route like this, but they are being very careful where, uh, you know, the way you see McCaffrey's route as if, you know, as you would expect it to be ran is you run sort of outside the tackle and then run uh, towards your offense's right. However, instead, watch how Purdy takes the snap, and McCaffrey is instead running essentially through the offensive line. I don't know if this was, you know, specifically by design, hey, you're going to run through the A-gap, essentially, run in between the center and the guard, and you tell the center and guard beforehand, make sure that you have a running lane, or if it's just, hey, McCaffrey, you're pretty good with, you know, reading which gap you should run through, make sure you just find a gap and run through it, but Definitely a little bit difficult because if you do get slowed down, you're in trouble. But now for Devin White, I mean, he has, uh, you know, a herd of 49ers, essentially, who are running, you know, in his direction. You, you know, you what do you do in this spot? You see, he really does what he can. He fights through it. And to me, I, I wouldn't really put that as bad defense. I would put that as really good play calling by San Francisco and great execution by San Francisco with, uh, you know, Christian McCaffrey running a great route and, you know, Purdy doing his job. I'll be honest. This was not the most difficult Purdy throw, you know, but hey, uh, that's a good thing, right? If you're a Niners fan, you don't want to have to make Purdy make difficult throws. You want him to be able to make easy throws. And that's what he was able to do on that play. Uh, Really good stuff from Shanahan. It's honestly one of those plays where it makes you wonder, how do you even stop that? Like, how do you even beat that? You could do a switch, I suppose, but pretty much that's what you have to do, is you have to get someone else to cover McCaffrey at that point, which you don't want to do, right? You don't want to have to have a corner now covering a running back, but sometimes at 49ers, you maybe have to get creative. This is just the value that Shanahan brings to the team and having a guy like McCaffrey brings to the team. This play was fun, very fun decision by Brock Purdy. Uh, The way this play is designed to work is it is zone coverage that Tampa Bay is in, and it seems like some of those underneath routes are really what Purdy's probably going to want to look towards, right? The ones just going past the first down marker, because it's third and two. Listen, you'd love a touchdown on this play, but you know what? You really need three yards. That's what you're trying to get. I guess you need two yards. That's what you're looking for. As you see, Purdy is going to take the snap. He looks over the middle, and listen, could he make one of those throws? Probably. I mean, it would be tough because, you know, definitely there's there's Devin White and Levante David, the two linebackers for Tampa Bay, right in the area who could run over and make a play. So you can't be too, uh, you know, uh, lackadaisical with a pass if you want to make it. But also, you don't have to throw, right? I mean, the linebackers are looking at the two players over the middle, so... Who can look at you? You have a running lane. And as you see, Purdy's going to step up. He dives forward, makes sure he doesn't take a big hit because it looks like there was a couple players ready to take his head off. But, you know, he is able to pick up the first down on that play. Really good stuff there from Purdy. And this is, to me, smart football. I mean, honestly, it's one of those things where people always, it's almost an expression of like, you can't look to run, right? You have to make sure you're trying to pass first. Well, no, you should use running the football as an option. It's an option if you're a quarterback to run with the football. And if it's a smarter option, which it was on this play, well, then run with the football. And Purdy does use his legs uh, in a really underrated way. He's very good at that. Of course, there's the simple stuff, the classic Shanahan scheme stuff, 
Uh, you're going to see Ayuk in motion from the offense's right to the offense's left, and then is eventually going to try and get into a gap and coverage over the middle. It's something we've seen a million times, and you see it a million times for a reason. It works. As you see, Purdy's going to run to play action. Linebackers are very fooled by this play action, but do a good job of running back. I mean, you see both of them jumping up, trying to knock the ball away, but Purdy is able to get the throw above them. Of course, you can't overthrow it either, right? And ideally, you don't want to make this too difficult of a catch for Brandon Ayuk. You don't want to have to make him leap up and make the grab, not just because it's harder to make the catch, but also someone can come in and make contact and maybe knock the ball away, maybe even, you know, hurt the uh, wide receiver. You want to make sure you don't have to make him go too high for the ball. And Purdy does not make him go too high. In fact, he barely even jumped, Ayuk did, on that play. So really good stuff. Again, when the Shanahan scheme is working, they're doing this consistently. And let's be honest, it's working a lot, right? <laughs> they're being able to hit these a lot, uh, you know, Purdy has a very high hit rate on these types of plays. And then let's go over, you know, we have to talk about this play. The I, I uh, heard on the broadcast that they said the longest uh, passing play on the season, which I guess makes sense, 76 yards. You know, most drives start uh, at 25-yard line, but still kind of crazy. Uh, it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one matchup with Brandon Ayuk on Jamel Dean, something that on paper doesn't seem like a terrible one-on-one -on -one matchup uh, for either side, right? Kind of a, you know, one of the better corners for Tampa Bay, one of the better receivers, if not the best receiver for San Francisco. So watch as you're going to see Purdy take the snap and he's kind of saying hey single safety deep Brandon Ayuk let me put the ball down the field let's let's take a chance here it's going to be kind of a weird situation we're right at the bat you know there is a bit of a step here for Ayuk but watch as you know Jamel Dean plays that very weird right uh and he was hurt after that play so I, I part of me was wondering like is it possible that when he tried to you know leap up to make a play like he was hurt and wasn't able to do it but I don't know it seemed like he was able to leap up I think he might have just misjudged it the ball kind of carried further than he would either way though it's a great play by Purdy just the decision in general throw it up to Brandon Ayuk and see what happens was a smart play uh and obviously it works out incredibly well as Brandon Ayuk is able to get into the end zone for a touchdown and that's that's just what Brandon Ayuk can do, right? He can win those one-on-one -on -one matchups down the field, and that is a huge part in this offense too, you know? I know we all talk about the over-the-middle routes and the, you know, running play action, getting guys out of position. All that stuff is good, but part of why they're so deadly too is if you just say, you know what, screw it, we're going to go all out to cover over the middle, they can beat you on the outside too. So they're, they're nearly an impossible team to defend against, and that's just great stuff from Ayuk, and also a beautiful throw from Brock Purdy as well. Have to mention that. I know he never gets any credit. It seems like, well, he gets credit and doesn't get credit, I should say. Seems like on a lot of his good throws, people just credit the, you know, the receiver, whereas, you know, a lot of times you credit the quarterback on some other you know, teams. But for Purdy, uh, he deserves credit here. This is a really good throw. So, yeah, I mean, listen, it was a great day from the 49ers. I could have probably shown another dozen highlights of what they were able to do, but we get it. Things are going well for San Francisco. Really good stuff for them, pulling off yet another victory. And, you know, they play Seattle a couple times in the next three weeks. So, I think big win here to try and extend that lead a little bit uh, as, you know, it's going to be tough to beat Seattle twice. Although, listen, the way they're playing, they could beat anybody twice, it feels like. So, yeah, those are my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And, of course, as always, thanks for watching.